Hello, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me again back to our usual slot of midday on Thursday when I always attempt to give you a Viva MK business update usually waffle off on a tandem but the attempt is to give you a business update congratulate you on everything you're doing and like i always say thank you for all your support and encouragement you know last week i don't think it was a mistake that i did it i, I won't take it out but last week i bleated on about having a challenging week and dealing with those challenges and how your phenomenal support and encouragement in Viva MK every single day, no matter what the challenge, is always so amazing and so helpful. Well, I guess that caused a lot of concern. I had that many questions following that. You know, people asking me, are they business challenges? Are they personal challenges? And for the record, some questions that I was never ever expecting to, to hear. Even from weight challenges to the kind of challenges I can't even talk about live. Even I'm not brazen enough to do that. But no, so many questions it raised. I guess that just shows how much people care and how much people listen and how much people want to encourage. And that's an ethos of this business. But you know what? Those challenges were so last week. They were so last week. And the great thing was, whilst we're dealing with these things because everything isn't going to be a straightforward journey never is nothing ever is if you're going to do anything worthwhile it is going to be cumbersome it is going to be difficult it is going to be a mountain to climb but I'll tell you something the view from the top is amazing and one day when I get there I'll tell you all about it but the point is that was last week but thank you for all your concern um you know it's amazing how many um questions that raised all good nothing terrible but all good and in between all that the hilarious things that some people were suggesting could be possibly wrong and no i'm not going to go and see a doctor about it but anyway thank you for all of that <laughs> I'm feeling embarrassed even now mentioning it, but thank you for all your following messages of support. I appreciate every single one of them and it has become an ethos in this business. Um, and I'll tell you something, encouragement and support really helps if anybody's having any kind of challenges, we all know that. But one thing that's very prevalent in our industry is when you're having uh, a day or two when things aren't going to plan, it's how much personal development helps as well. It's absolutely incredible. I only ever discovered it in our industry that personal development is so key to picking yourself up, to getting that attitude back, to building that belief, to getting that focus again. It's so wonderful. And, um, you know, I regularly, of course, divulge in personal development, always have done from the moment I started in Cleansy and learnt of its importance in our industry and I've been reading The Secret again lately um, and The Secret isn't a magical exploration of how you can just get everything you want just by believing it about it but what it does it asks you to ask believe and then you receive and the whole idea is that it puts your mindset and your attitude in that very positive frame of mind it's not a magical thing you can't just lock yourself away in room and dream of all the things and they suddenly transpire I sometimes wish they did but they don't um, um, but it's all about getting that very positive mindset. And when, every time I read The Secret, it does exactly that. It puts my mind precisely and acutely back on track wherever I need it to be. Um, and that, that positive mindset, then what The Secret does is opens opportunities and ideas and thought patterns that you didn't even realize you had. So if you haven't read it, and I suspect every single person in the world of our industry has read The Secret. If you haven't, it's worth getting a hold of, but it's not magical. It's just something that focuses your mind on the things that you want and helps you believe that you can actually get them. And I'll tell you, in anything you do in business or anything personal, if you don't have the belief that you can do it, it will never, ever, ever happen. 
um, you know, those people that have huge um, feats of en enduring feats like climbing mountains and so on, if they believe at the beginning they can't do it, they will never ever achieve it. So they have to believe that they'll get over the mountain and come down the other side. They have to believe that. If they believe that they will perish, they will perish. If they believe they can't do it, they won't do it. They have to see the end picture. And that's all the secret does. And I don't have to preach to you about personal development. You know the importance of it. But this is going on about, um, this is following on from what we talked about last week when I said there'd been challenges, but hey, we're dealing with them all. It then raised many questions from you, some hilarious ones, which I'm still, you can't tell, but blushing about. Um, but it really also brought me on to thinking how important it is to keep personal development key. And the secret for me is being all one of my all time favorites. And it all really does work. You have to believe you can climb that mountain, no matter how daunting it is. Otherwise, you'll never, ever do it. Talking of secrets, it's no secret, and what a tenuous link this is. Talking of secret, it's no secret that there will be a Basics Essential catalog coming soon. Of course, the date has been a secret because I refuse to give a date because I always get the dates wrong. Every time I give a date, it kind of um, jinxes it and it never happens. Um, so again, like I said, you'll keep you updated on that. It's coming together, um, but these things aren't easily done and they're not straightforward, but it's coming together. But it's not a secret, it's just that I haven't given you the date yet. Um, also also talking about secrets in a conversation um, that we don't often have but we should have because we're business partners is of course out of stocks now it's really important to talk about these but not in a negative way let's talk about it and, and tell you why they happen and why they are the way they are when when we do get a spate of them there's numbers of number of reasons why out of stocks can happen predominantly three main reasons one you just can't get the product number two it's become overpriced and unavailable because it's no longer tenable to have that product and of course as you know we have to be very careful about our prices anyway or thirdly we just probably didn't order enough and didn't forecast it probably didn't know it would sell like it would and so we've run out and therefore probably fallen into number one can't get it quick enough or number two that the price or the location of that product has changed outside of those three reasons there's not many reasons that you have an out to stock product um, in clean easy we had other challenges that prevented us having a hundred percent availability but though those were born of a huge corporation you know clean easy was a massive company here we're a very small organization and the three reasons i've given you for our to stocks are the reasons they happen you just can't get the product um it, it's that it's become untenable to sell because it really doesn't have the price point that we can have and remember every single product we have just for the record so you know every single product we have has to have a considerable margin in it and by margin i obviously mean the difference between buying price and selling price and the reason that margin has to be considerable because in a network marketing organization like ours you have to be able to afford the commissions that the business pays so therefore it's not just like going to a shop where they have their general overheads our overheads are always commission and commission payments therefore there's a reasonable um, margin to be gained out of every product again which brings me on to the point where people say why haven't we got this product or that product sometimes the reason you don't see an obvious product you think well that would be brilliant why don't they get it the obvious reason is because we can't get a good enough price on it. If we can't get a good price on an even an obvious product that you think really should be in there, it's because that price isn't good enough because the margin has to be substantial in all the products we have. That's not a lie, that's an absolute fact about our industry. Um, so the difference between cost and selling price has to be reasonable. So sometimes when you'll say, well, how can we, and in cleaning, one of the biggest things was washing up liquid. People you say, why can't we get washing up liquid? And why can't we sell that? Why can't we sell this? And one of the biggest reasons was at that time, we could not for love or money get the margins 
on washing up liquid. Therefore, we never had it because it was not, it wasn't tenable to sell it to make enough cash to pay the overheads, which of course is predominantly commissions. So that kind of, I, I just really wanted to talk about that because I don't want anybody to think that out of stock conversation is a secret or a negative, far from it. I think it sometimes gets treated like that because anytime something is out of stock, it means you lose money, we lose money, and of course the customer is disappointed. So it hits you in three ways. Disappointed customer, disappointed distributor, and disappointed company. So in essence, it's the worst thing that can happen in any company that retails is that you run out of the product that you retail. So it's not an ideal place to be. So anytime you see that or anytime it's affecting you, it's not something anybody has done willingly. It's something that's been born of the reasons that I just gave you. You just can't get it because the supply chain has dried up or the pricing has changed or the forecasting was wrong and therefore you fall into trap one or trap two. There isn't anything outside of that and that's what causes it sometimes there's more sometimes there's less um, with 1300 products you are likely to get that more often of course with 1300 products it's more likely to happen with the things that sell out the fastest that maybe nobody knew were going to sell the way they do I hope that's answered some of your questions because I do get al along with some of the hilarious questions you send me I do get many questions on stock availability and out of stocks and general stock management because at the end of the day our business is built on a simple pr pr principle we supply you product you sell it to the customers and that's it um so if the product is affected that affects our entire business. Yes, I know I've always said it's about people, and yes, of course it's about people, and people are the primary aspect of our business, but alongside that primary aspect, you need product to sell. So like I've always said to you, retail is imperative in this organization. So, so I'm hoping that's answered some of the out of stock challenges that we've been having, and I also hope, you know, I've answered last week's challenges that, and, and appreciated your response response to those. Um, Andy Buxton always tells me that I look like I've got big foam hands. I don't know if that's true. I think it's to the perspective of the camera. I know that's a silly thing to mention, but he did tell me that every time I know it looks like I've got big foam hands. They're not, though. They're, they're quite small, really. Anyway, back onto business. So um, stock management is no secret. The, the um, basics essentials catalog is no secret. It's taking a little bit longer to get together as always, but I'm still glad I didn't give you a date because every time I give you a date on something, every time I get it wrong, and then every time I get rightfully hounded because I've got the date wrong. So in respect of business challenges and personal challenges or whatever challenges there are, you know, we deal with them on a daily basis. And going back to that support and encouragement, one thing I've noticed you guys doing a lot of is supporting people cross line. You know, people that you have no vested interest in, people that aren't in your business. Do you know one of the greatest things that I ever learned in our industry was the ability to help somebody who can do bugger all for you in return, that they, they're not a vested interest, you're not earning money on that person, they have nothing to do with you other than your vested interest as kindness to another human being. And that is something that is prevalent in very little outside of our industry. To be fair, it's something that's very prev uh, it's, it's lacking in most areas of even our industry. But in our business, I've seen a lot of that, that kind of sidewards encouragement, sidewards belief, sidewards support. In the same way you support and encourage myself, you do it to each other, where people have no, you have no vested interest in the downlines or the people that you are supporting. To me, I would say that's one of the most powerful things that our industry 
um, creates. I've never known anything like it. It doesn't happen in the corporate world. It doesn't happen in head offices in any part of the corporate world. It doesn't happen anywhere except in our kind of business. So every time you offer that helping hand to somebody that you have no vested interest in, that is a unique and wonderful act of kindness. And you have no idea how much that uplifts people when you give them that hand. Now, you know, I'm not preaching to you to go out and be kind or anything. I'm just telling you it's already happening. It's happening all the time and I notice it all the time. And better still is when people contact me to tell them that they've been supported by somebody else who really had no reason or purpose to support them. Do you understand the power of that? That doesn't happen in the real world. People don't even do that to their own families, let alone the real world. So really, I have not much more to say today. I just wanted to thank everybody for all their support last week, your ongoing support in everything we're doing. I really wanted to talk about out of stocks because we shouldn't avoid any subject that's contentious, no matter how contentious it is. And I know I had a couple of emails from people saying, will you please talk about uh, our stock management when you do your live? I'm not afraid to approach those subjects. They're, they're a part and parcel of our business like anything else is just remember what I said about that mountain no matter how steep that mountain is if you want to climb it if that's your desire you have to truly believe that you will get over it and that you will climb it and you will get over it without any problem and that's the way you have to deal with it because if from the outset you don't believe you can do it it will never ever happen mark my words I have never approached anything in my life that I wanted to do with the fear that I might not do it because it would never ever ever have got done so thank you for listening thank you for giving your midday up for me once again and I look forward to catching you soon thank you bye